everyone and welcome back. So a little bit different today. I'm not playing a game. I'm not reacting to anything. What I'm doing is I'm giving my prediction for the Euros. So if you're not a football fan, probably not the video for you. Um, but um, obviously I am English. I am going to be a little bit biased, but you know, I am a football fan. I love this. So I just want to give who I think are going to uh, win, but also the whole thing. So let's get into it and give my full predictions for the Euros. Okay, so here we go. Um, group A um, for this. We've got Germany, Scotland, Hungary and Switzerland. Oh, <laughs> who is going to win the group? I mean, let's be honest, it's Germany. If by some miracle now, anybody else in that group manages to win that group through damn and then i think if anybody else manages to get through that group they're going to be somebody to watch because what the hell um but i think it's it's quite obvious germany go through uh, top there scotland i'm sorry guys <sighs> don't see it i just don't see it now hungary and switzerland is interesting because hungary always put in um a good seeing and they they've got a strong team in terms of kind of physical uh, presence on the field Switzerland, a lot of the, the kind of, um, a lot of the smaller teams like that tend to be very irritating in terms of their defence to play against. But I just think Hungary comes in in second place there. And then, then I think it's Switzerland um, and Scotland are out at the group stages. Now, Scotland, please, please prove me wrong. I would absolutely love to see Scotland in um in in the final stages of this i would love it I just don't think it's going to happen i think there are groups in which scotland would have had a chance i don't think that's one of them uh group b Ooh, i mean <laughs> group b is kind of uh, spain croatia italy albania now i'm sorry albania i love albania i was there recently great place and i'm sure Scannerbag Square will have a big screen up um, in front of um, the opera, um, the opera building, and you'll be watching it there. I would assume because it's such a nice place to be able to watch that there, and you're going to be watching these games. But <sighs> I don't think Albania is getting through. Let's be honest. I think um, from this, I mean, Italy are current champions, but I don't think they have the best team. I think Spain actually comes through top there. Italy come through second, and then it's Croatia. Um, Croatia used to have a much stronger team. It's not as strong as it used to be, but I, I still think they're going to they're going to do okay there with the third. Then, then it's Group C. It's got to be us, right? I mean, if we if if England fuck this up, I mean. Uh, now, unlike a lot of fans, I'm actually a fan of Gareth Southgate. I think he should still be um, manager. I know there's a lot of people that don't like... Look at the stats. Look at the... Th I think he should definitely still be there. Um, so I'm, I, I have faith in the man. But if he fucks this up, he should be gone the same day. Um, but England win. England win that group. Come on, we come top. Then, Denmark are going to be... The only people that I think are going to be a pain for us is Denmark, like I was saying, um, the smaller countries. And, and a lot of the, the Northern European countries are just pains when it comes to try and play against in terms of defence. We do have a, a, um, a team that can get through that quite well, I think. But I think they're going to be a pain. Do they come second? Mm. I think Slovenia are out. I think they're out of it. But is it Serbia or Denmark? I actually think Serbia have a slightly better team and then Denmark. Then Netherlands, France, Poland, and Austria. I mean, we know the top two, don't we? Yeah? That's, I mean, so in advance of this, if you just asked me of the teams, who's going to win? I think there's three teams that come to mind. Germany, France, England. I think those are the teams that can do it. I think those are the teams that have shown they've got um, a good record in the Euros, in the World Cup, everything. I think they're the ones that are really can... You know, have shown that they've got this in friendlies, in the competitions, in everything. But that can change as we go along. But because they're one of the first ones I mentioned, France have to be top. Then I think it's the Netherlands. Poland and Austria, obviously, um, I think 
Austria. I think Austria are out. I think Poland have. Mm. I think the Netherlands is definitely in second place there, though. Netherlands always just seem to be the team that are always. Netherlands are very similar to us, but kind of a little bit better as it's been over the past few years, at least. Um, in that they're kind of always going to be there. They're always going to be doing doing something, but never quite manage it. Um, I think Poland come through in third there, as opposed to anywhere else. Um, oh, let's. Uh, and then Group E. Okay, well, I think I think Belgium are very much the top team from that group. Then it's Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine. Ukraine have been shown very good in recent matches. I think they're an obvious choice. Slovakia, Romania. I actually don't know well enough from those two teams. So do I just go on previous thoughts? Previous thoughts from many years ago. Eh. Um, I tell you what. Purely because of those two countries, the one I went to last was Slovakia. I'm giving it to Slovakia. And I have no other reasoning for that at all. But I don't think either of those teams would create an upset anyway. So, And then Group F. Group F is Portugal, Czechia, Georgia and Turkey. Georgia's out. Yes, <laughs> I mean, it's just... That's the immediate thing. Georgia's gone. They've not got a chance in holy hell. If they even manage to really dent anyone, I'll be amazed. Um, I think they've done incredibly well to get to this point. But I think they're in the same kind of thing as... A I actually think this is the group that Scotland would have had a chance in as well, by the way. Um, to come through second, I think Scotland would have done. Uh, so Portugal, obviously. Obviously. And then it's Czechia or Turkey. Or Turkey A, actually. No. Um, but... Who is coming through there? Oh. I think I think Turkey just have it in them, and then it's going to be Czechia. I think that's just the case. So then, if we proceed through, so obviously the way this is going to work is we need the best from the third place teams. Now, the way that's going to work is basically who has scored the most points off of the groups they are in, which kind of means that oh. Who's that going to be? I think the the people that have... The one that has the most chance... Probably... Oh, I think it's Croatia, Denmark or, or, or Czechia that actually have the chance of getting the points um, to doing well. Croatia... You know what? Well, Croatia, Denmark, Czechia. And then um, I don't think the Swiss... I think Poland are going to put a good showing in. Okay, so that's that basically means that in the groups they're in, they've done the they've done the best in those the, those ones. Um, then choose the winning teams from the round of sixteen. So Germany versus Serbia. Serbia, you're gonna do you're gonna try, but Germany's got it. Let's be honest. Hungary, Italy, your flag sideways. Uh, Italy clearly have that. Um, Spain, Czechia. I actually think this would be competitive. I actually think that's going to be a decent game, but I think Spain is just too much for them. England, Poland. We have played this game many times over in the past. England have that, I think. Um, but po hey, Poland, and no slouches, but I think England have that. Croatia, Portugal. Now, if this was a few years ago, I'd say this would be an incredibly close, um, a close match. But in current times, I think Portugal have this every day of the week. Um, Netherlands, Ukraine. I think Netherlands will actually show Ukraine up. I think it's at that point Ukraine will just go nowhere with that against Netherlands. Uh, Belgium, Denmark. Now, this is probably going to be the closest match of all of them here. Actually, like an incredibly close match. Um, because they both have a similar -ish style. I think I'm going to have to go with Belgium on that one, though. I think they're just going to eke it through. And then uh, France, uh, Turkey, it's going to be, it's going to be France. It's going to be France. Going through to the quarterfinals, we've got Spain against Germany. Spain against Germany will be a hellish match. Um, because, as I said, Germany, France, England were my first picks of everyone. But when it comes to individual matches, whoo, Spain, Germany... I think I give it to Spain if it's a head-on-head -head match at this point. I think I give it to Spain. Portugal, Netherlands. Now, this is a very interesting one because the Netherlands can push it through. And I don't think beyond one or two players, Portugal's going to do it. I think as a team, Netherlands actually have a stronger team 
as a team. They don't have the better players all round. I think Portugal do, but I don't think they're as much of a team. And I think I give it to the Netherlands. Belgium, France, that's going to be that's gonna be like a derby. That's, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of fun. But France have it, let's be honest. Now, now to this hellish... Oh, my God. To this game again. If anyone remembers last time. Um, <laughs> for the love of God, if it goes anywhere near penalties, I might scream. Uh, I don't think Italy have it. I don't think Italy have shown that they have it at the moment. I, I think their team went down pretty much as soon as they won a tournament. Um, I think England is the better team. I think Italy have some individual players there, but I think England win it. I do think England win it. Okay. Spain and Netherlands. Spain, Netherlands. Oh. Again, Netherlands will push, but I think, as is often the case, they're always there, but not quite. I think Spain has it there. And then, oh, God. <laughs> the quad, basically, after, like, so... The round of 16, I think we're good until the quarterfinals and then hell happens because it's Italy. Then um, it would be France. And then if we come through, we're against Spain. It's like bang, bang, bang. Prove yourself, bitches. Um, what do I think? Oh. See, this is difficult because, like I say, Germany, France, England, my picks. Then individual matches change that. That's why I put Spain against uh, uh, to win against Germany. France versus England. This is on a um, on a coin toss. It really is. I do. I, I kind of feel like flipping a coin just to see it. Ah, oh, it's it's so difficult because I think I think we have because I think Mbappe is overrated as fuck. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it there. I think he is the most overrated player in the game. Um, currently. Currently, he's definitely not the most overrated player. There's definitely some people that are the best players in the world in their own head that, you know, moved to the MLS and went on talk shows and said how great they were in our black belts in karate. If anyone hasn't picked up on that one, he's the most overrated in history, but only in his own mind. But I think Mbappe is not as good as people say he is. And I don't think he's shown himself. I really don't. I think he's shown himself domestically. Don't think he's shown himself in international tournaments. He's been very good, but I don't think he's lived up to what he's meant to be. That said, who the fuck have we got in the back to stop him? That's our issue. I think it comes down to who has the best defence. And that's a difficult question. I think if we can neutralise, somehow neutralise Mbappe... And a couple of the midfields. I'm giving it to us. Oh, I'm giving it to us. <laughs> I actually think the winner of this game wins it. Which gives away who I think is going to win. I think if France beat us, France wins. I think if England beats France, England wins. So of this, Spain, England, I actually think that um, England would have had to prove themselves more. Um, I think I, Germany, yes, good. We've had to beat Italy, then beat um, France, then come up to Spain. I think just because of that, we win it. I think if you move this around and France w wins against us, then France win it. I think that's the significance of that one. And yeah, I think it's us in the final. But yeah, this is my prediction. So coming through, um, when we get into the round of 16, uh, Germany beat Serbia. Italy be Hungary, Spain against Czechia, England over Poland, Portugal over Croatia, Netherlands over Ukraine, Belgium over Denmark, France over Turkey, or Turkey, and then um, Spain over Germany, Netherlands over Portugal, France over Belgium, England over Italy, then Spain over Netherlands, England over France, and England to win it all. And I am biased as hell. I know I am. But you know. Um, but that's my prediction. What do you think? Tell me what you think below. Because I know... You know, I don't know how well this this video will do because some of my videos get a, get thousands, then hundreds, and maybe only two people are going to watch this. But I know that from my analytics that I have quite a big 
European um, subscribership, at least, and viewership. Um, so I'm sure there are people probably in France, Spain, Germany um, that have different opinions on this. Let me know what you think. Who do you think is going to win? If you're in the US or and you're just a football fan, um, but you're in the US and so far more, uh, far less biased, tell us who you think is going to win. What are we going to be doing on this one? Let us know what you think. Um, but until next time, let's enjoy this because as of this video coming out, it starts in two hours. Let's go get it. I'll see you next time.